and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar, and we are here to do the frequently asked beer questions. Hashtag. Yeah, we were called out by uh, Jerry Fort, Beer Review Guy, and Kentucky Swagger, and yes. probably other people. Probably. Um, we are on uh, vacation, North Carolina, Cherokee. This seemed to be a perfect time to do it. Yep, uh, this video will probably be out before our Cherokee Indian Creek uh, campground. Possibly. Uh, our phones are going to go up because I we're just getting... got a, I just got a coin. Thank you very much. All right. To all our coins. So let's subscribers. go ahead and start out. What's the first question? How did you get into beer and why? Radar. Uh, how did we get into beer and why? How did we get into beer and why? We were. Uh, is this like the the origination of us drinking beer? Let's let's start. Like, let's, let's go with the this, channel. Ah. Uh, we'll talk we about were the uh, drinking beer one night and uh, we had this terrible little like Nikon, Canon, whatever it was. It was a Canon Power Shot. Yes, it was one of those and. Uh, we were uh, giggling to ourselves, going, <laughs> "Let's let's take a video of ourselves drinking beer and put it on YouTube. Tell them how how beer is." And uh, it's been five years since then. Yeah, um, that's part of it. A, a big part of it is when I lived in an apartment near a liquor world, um, and I would go and get a different beer every night, trying it. It was right when I turned 21, 22, um, and still reserved to go with me. And we'd go down there, we get these different beers every Sunday, and we would drink. And it got to the point where we couldn't remember what we were drinking, and we kind of felt it was like, man, we're buying this beer, some of it's crap, we're wasting all this money on this beer. Yeah. Um, it would be nice to look at reviews. Kind of like a personal a personal inventory of what is good and what ain't. All right, next question. What's your uh, favorite beer, Radar? Uh, my favorite beer is... That's, um, a, trick, that's a hard question. Uh, I'm going to go with beer that has a, uh, a water base. Um... I'm going to go with, with that. I, I, will, I don't really have a favorite beer. I think the beer that I buy the most is probably Guinness. I think that's that's probably what that question is going uh, for. What beer do you buy the most of? Yeah, I mean, that's a hard question because, you know, I like all beer. I like most beers. Um, the whole reason we do the show, we try so many different beers. If it's something I drink and buy a lot of, um, probably Michelob Ultra, Yingling, Michelob Amberbach. Mm -hmm. Um... Those are the ones I buy mainly because they're cheaper and they're easy to easy to find. Uh, Mickey's, if I drink malt liquor, I drink with Mickey's. But those are the ones I stick to just because they're cheap. I mean, I like the ballast point, like pineapple sculpting and all that, and that's something I'll buy every once in a while, but $13 a six-pack is, is hard to justify. Fair enough. What's the next uh, one, Radar? If you could have one beer forever, which one would it be? And that's, I'm assuming, no price. meaning you can, yeah, you don't have to pay for it, and you have more than one of that kind of beer. You have an unlimited supply, but only that one beer. Yeah. Not, not one beer you have to somehow stretch for the rest of your life. Yeah. That uh, would suck. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Country Boy Cliff Jumper. Oh, yeah? Uh, because it's relative, well, we have a hard time getting it and where we live at. It's, a little bit. We have to drive a couple hours to get it. Um, I like it. It's hoppy enough and it's refreshing. It, and obviously, I've only had it in draft form so because they don't bottle it. But if I had a kegerator, that would be the beer that I would put in my kegerator. So that's mm. my choice. I haven't given these questions a whole lot of thought. I, uh, I guess if I had an unlimited supply of one kind of beer, I would want it to be something fairly drinkable. But something that's also really good. You know what? Uh, the Table Pilsner that we had uh, them years ago. Um, I believe it was Blue Moon Table Pilsner? Question mark. It was some sort of Table Pilsner. It was delicious. Uh, to find out what it is, I would have to go through our videos, though. Which is partially why we started making videos. There you go. And it uh, all comes back to full circle. I can drink so much beer and stay healthy. <laughs> well, uh, I actually... Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't drink a lot of beer, honestly. I only drink when I'm around him. And uh, well, actually when we're around the guys, probably, what, once a month we probably drink? Yeah, right around about. I mean... I usually have... Uh, sometimes I go and buy beer enough for a whole week. And I have one after work every day. But if I drink more than that, it gets very, very expensive. And uh, I ain't rich. 
Yeah. I would say I've been eating and drinking healthy, but uh, this vacation has been quite the opposite. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, we don't. Uh, we only drink when we do the show, and that's once or twice a month we shoot. Most people think we shoot like daily. No, we shoot like twice a month, if that. Mm. Um, so we shoot like 20 or 30 videos at a time, just because it's hard with our work schedules to get together and shoot videos. And when you got that many people in the same room, a beer is like. <laughs> Is like everyone gets slightly more than a shot yeah. glass of beer. Uh, are you an alcoholic? Uh, Next question. No. By the way. Uh, I am not an alcoholic. Uh, however, alcoholism runs in my family, so also I'm very careful about how much I drink in that aspect. Like I said, I don't drink very often, but it's mm. always a concern of mine. Uh, what about you, Radar? I am not, and uh, partially because that's too expensive. I wouldn't be able to afford to be an alcoholic. Um, Another reason is, I don't like to stay drunk for that long. That's, that becomes, it becomes really uncomfortable after about a, an hour and a half, two hours of being drunk. It's like, okay, I'm ready to stop now. I'm, I'm prepared to get off the train, make the room stop spinning. Uh, what is your favorite ingredient, Mr. K? Beer. Beer is your favorite ingredient. No. Um, I mean, well, I mean that it's a hard question. Lots of cooking. Um, I like beer and cooking a lot, mm. um, but that's not, it's, I think, I'm assuming it's a beer ingredient. I guess, uh, yeah. The malts are a big part of mine, but I also like when they add uh, weird things to it. Weird things? Like, oh, like, like different black, black current for juices? Black current or uh, you know, kind of unique. Kind of, you know, something unique and different. I like those. But like malts and different fruit juices and stuff like that. Stuff to make that beer more unique. Uh, Radar's going to say hops. No, uh, I'm not. You're wrong. I actually enjoy the, uh, the grains. Uh, I, you, you, can't, like you can't have a... You like the Mad Jocks? You can't have a... You can't have beer without grain. I mean, I suppose you can. You can have, like, lambics and frambois and stuff that's made out of fruit. But, uh, frambois. Frambois. Actually, I think that's just one kind of beer. I think that, that company makes, like... Various. You all know what I'm talking about, about though, the frambois stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, grain. I'm going to go with um, grain. Grain makes beer. If you didn't have grain, you couldn't have beer. Uh, do you brew? No. But we do not brew. But we will be doing... That's not brewing. That we will be making... Not brewing. We will be making some uh, mead eventually we'll on the show. We'll attempt to make mead. Uh, eventually. I bought a carboy and a little bubbler thingy... Vapor lock. Yes. We're, we're working on it. Uh, uh, that one. I, I have. I've found someone who knows how to make mead, and he will be our instructor, for lack of a better term. He's going to help us make mead, uh, and then he's going to drink it. Now we did an entire video for this next question, and I will link it in the description down below. Uh, what was your first beer? So. We did, oh yeah, in your backyard. Yes. Yes. I think I was wearing this hat. Um, I was wearing a hat. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, we did legal beer. Good we said first legal beer. It's your first legal beer. My first legal beer was actually my first beer, believe it or not. Yeah, I remember you saying that. That's how it was. Uh, last question. Last question. Who in the beer world do you look up to? Well, I know I'm awesome, so I'm looking up to myself. Uh, Dude, no, you're not. Don't I'm lie. Joking. Uh, um, well, I mean, it says beer world. It's not specific. The beer specifying, world. It's not, not specifically specifying YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm a big fan of Country Boy Brewing in general. They yeah. started out from a very small brewery, and now they're uh, just expanded. I all, mean, that's very impressive. All five of those guys, amazing. Uh, you know, uh, Sierra Nevada is another fancy uh, one that you know started out from very small, yeah. small beginnings. Uh, uh, for YouTube, though, that's a different story. For YouTube, I honestly look up to just about everybody who makes YouTube videos about beer. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I, uh, when we first started Ethan's Beer Reviews also, we yeah, started, started at roughly same. the same period. Yeah. Started doing videos anyways, I think. I think he had a channel already made. Yeah. Like forever ago. But anyways. Uh, uh, but Louisiana we, Beer Reviews too, we watched yeah, a lot. Yeah. Uh, uh, Joe Sticks. Yeah. Joe Sticks, just because of his... Uh, his go getting it uh for actually making his own beer. And he sends us beers, which is And he sends us beers. I look up to anybody that sends us beers. Speaking of which, uh, Jerry Fort, the beer review guy, the beer review guy, look up to that guy. Uh, 
we have an active beer trade happening. Uh, I would call, now at the end here, they've been calling people out to do the uh, video, but we are way late on this video. Yeah, right? everyone who's, everyone pretty much has done this already. Uh, we are like two months late to the party. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we are going to, I'm not going to call anybody out, but I would like to, I don't think uh, Louisiana Brew, uh, Beer Reviews, I don't think they've done it. No, no. He's done it. I saw his video on this. He, uh, he does not reply to, uh, to chain mail. Really? And then he just did a, a, a talking video about what he thinks about beer. It was a, I've just been attacked by a stick. Uh, it, was a, it was a pretty entertaining video. Uh, you ought to watch that. It was good. All right, well, uh, if you guys have any more questions, you can leave in a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.